And we're about that close to kicking the door down. So I'm real excited. Obviously, we got, you know, KJ Jefferson. I'm real excited about getting him. I think that's a game changer and that's a perfect fit for what we like to do offensively. Welcome to the show. Today's interview with Central Florida's head coach, Gus Malzahn, is sponsored by Team Funded. Team Funded is a 100% app based donation platform ran by coaches just like myself. Jay Keith is our rep here in Arkansas. And as a former coach, she truly understands the ins and outs of what programs need to be successful. Their logo will be on on the screen as well as a QR code. Scan it to get involved. Enjoy the show. Legendary Coach Gus Malzahn here. How excited! And I, I know this is. We were actually at Hot Springs when we asked Coach Malzahn to come. I took a video. I was with uh, Coach Billy Elmore, and we yeah. sent it out to Coach, and he's like, "I'm in." Automatic. He was the first guy we went after. Yeah. Talk to us a little bit, getting back, seeing all the guys, and yeah. being back in the state of Arkansas. Well, first of all, I'm real excited. Uh, this is the first time I've been back speaking at a clinic in Arkansas in a long time, and uh, already seen familiar faces and. You know, so just real excited. Me and Christy are here. We've got a couple of our friends meeting us, and we're going to rent a house here in Hot Springs, just relax for the weekend. So it's, it's really neat. Well, you, it's a good getaway, that part of yeah. it. But also got Rhett Lashley coming in. Yeah. I think one of your uh, J.B. Grimes is coming in also. The, 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 <laughs> the legend, the legend J.B. J.B. I didn't know that. Yes, sir. I think he's coming in. We've got the uh, – he's getting him off the farm. He's getting him off the yeah. farm about once a yeah. once time and, and, and that part of it. Yeah. Well, Coach, let's get, get into it. I don't want to steal your thunder here on your talk. Yeah. While we, yeah. We're going to your session at 10 o'clock. What are we looking at? Yeah, you know, really what I'm going to do is talk about my 15 years being a high school football coach. Yeah. I mean, that's my foundation. That's who I am. Um, you know, I learned football through the legendary high school coaches, you know, that was coming up when I was coming up and uh, just the experiences and the games and all that. And, and then I'm going to talk a little buck sweep, you know. Oh, yeah. I mean, that that's my favorite play, you know. So I'm going to talk a little uh, shotgun buck sweep, uh, talk a little reverse off of it, and then maybe a little gadget off of it, too. So. <laughs> the gadget. Man, yeah. Coach Mouse on having a gadget. <laughs> well, Coach, talk to us a little bit. You, you go back to your high school time here. You know, yeah. It's, I'll never forget the first time I ever met you. You're playing softball in Arkadelphia on a warm <laughs> summer day. Guy Greg Hughes and yeah. Dean Norsworthy. Next thing yeah. I know, you're you're playing in the state championship and and Hughes at Hughes Arkansas against Lone yeah. Oak in 1994. Yeah. I was there. What a great game! Yeah. What a great weekend. Go on to Shiloh, yeah. do great things there, and then it's Springdale. And one of the funniest things you guys don't know this. Coach's last year at Springdale was my first year at Southside. Yeah, and we're fig- we opened up the conference play. And I'm going out there, and they're going to kill us. I mean, we're pretty, pretty confident in it. We're going to get killed. And uh, our goal was not to get, you know, to suck the time out and play a slow game. Yeah. And I was talking to Coach before the game, and he's nervous. Yeah. And I thought, if this guy's nervous, what? And he's fixing to kill us. <laughs> no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not, I'm, that should no, be nervous. No, respect to have for you because I know you're a good football coach. And I told our guys, get ready. He's going to line up and try to pound us. Yeah. And that, that's what y'all did. And y'all did a good job of it. And y'all yeah. kept the ball away from us in the first half. And no, I knew it. I wasn't going to take that for granted. Not against you. <laughs> oh, it was funny because I was like, this guy's nervous. And I, should, I think I'm the one who should be nervous. Well, because talk to us about that time period, how that, that yeah. grew you and, and you know your growth and, yeah. and where you're at now. I mean, yeah. it's just fun, been fun to watch it. Yeah, you know, Hughes, you know, I learned hard work. I mean, that was probably the best thing I took away, like just that foundation of mowing the grass, yeah. watering the grass, lying in the grass, driving a school bus. Um just doing everything. And then we coached everything. I mean, you know, there, there wasn't, I mean, I was the head senior high football coach. I was the head seventh grade football coach. I was the junior boys head basketball coach, seventh grade basketball and assistant <laughs> senior high boy. So you just, and then you taught five classes, seventh grade world geography, you know, and that's just, that really helped me. And then, you know, I just learned football by making mistakes. I never yeah. got a chance to learn under anyone. And, uh, you know, there was some Eastern Arkansas guys that I tried to kind of, model myself after Frank McClellan was yeah. right down the road yeah. now. Yeah. You know I mean, like that was, it, it, I tell people like the only guy I ever really got nervous before a game talked, it was Frank McClellan. <laughs> 
it ain't Nick Saban or, or, or Spurry, man. Frank McClellan had that air about him, man, that I was just scared to death, you know. But and then Don Campbell was right up the road yeah. at win. They run that darn diamond T and like, whoa, you yeah. know, that's how you grow up coaching, trying to stop those guys. And then your dad, you know, your dad I, at a clinic like this. I remember one time we were, we may have been here in Hot Spring. He spent about two hours with me. And just, you know, trying to pick his brain and all that. And that's the fun thing for me is just growing up in this state, being a young coach and trying to learn from the legends. Barry Lunny Sr., yeah. another oh, guy yeah. that, you know, he really gave me great advice on, you know, how to how to run an offense and all that. And so, you know, that's how I learned. And then Shiloh was just like, I was the right place, the right time. You know, Rhett Lashley was our quarterback. Yeah. We had guys that can throw it. We kind of fell into the hurry up, no huddle, run a two minute office entire game. That changed everything. And then I got to spring down cred, man. My wife could have coached that bunch and they had, <laughs> they had won a state championship. We we had we were loaded, you know, but that was that was that was a lot of fun. Oh man. Well, talk to us a little about this. And we had Bo Henry on here early in the year. I mean, early this <laughs> when we kind of first started this deal. And it was kind of funny. And we talked about, you know, him being in South Arkansas throwing the ball around, yeah. you know. The, them old guys, everybody yeah. over there looking around, what's this guy doing? And you kind of went with that through that with a little bit with the no huddle. Yeah. And now everybody, I mean, th what I see yeah. on Saturday, Sunday, and Friday nights, everybody's running a little bit of your offense somewhere all over the country. Yeah, I tell you, it was interesting back in the day. We were the first, I guess we were one of the first in the country, you know, that were doing the no huddle. And then I was fortunate enough to get in college, and then we were one of the first to do that. Yeah. And, you know, got in the SEC and they were trying to make rules against it, you know. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I don't know. I it just, it, it's uh, it's been a lot of fun. And like I said, I've been in some unique situations with a lot of good players. And when you got good players, you can be creative. Yeah. You know, and, and that's really been, you know, what's happened to me. Brent, right? Well, coach, thanks for joining the show. Yeah. You're welcome to Hot Springs. Um, you know, your career, uh, you know, so so many of us here at Arkansas follow it and you've done some, so many great things at a high level. What's the biggest difference to you uh, in coaching college versus coaching high school? You know, really, the uh, players, the X's and O's, it's very similar. It's actually easier to coach college because in high school, if you're, like, really good on offense, you're liable to see some junk defense that it takes you a quarter to figure out. College, you're going to get pretty much what, what they're getting. The difference in college is the business side and the recruiting side and all the stuff that goes with it. Um, you know, like I said, man, I love my time being a high school coach. There's a lot of things I miss about just coaching high school, but uh, that's the biggest difference. The X's and O's, they can only put 11 out there. And there's only so many things you can do. So, you know, in my mind, before I got in college, I was thinking, man, it, it's really complicated. And you hear all these college coaches using these crazy terms. It's the same stuff as high school. And there's a lot of high school coaches that are a lot smarter than me that could be doing the same thing or better than I'm doing. I just got the opportunity. Well, and, and you mentioned, you know, a big difference is recruiting and yeah. part of that transfer portal. Yeah. Um, how has this offseason been for y'all signing day this week? <laughs> yeah. Uh, what does that look like? Sure. I tell you what, uh, it's changed in the last year completely. Um, you know, the portal, I mean, you're having to make decisions in 48 hours on players. You don't get a chance to really get to know who they are. You just got to trust your gut on film like, yeah, he can play for us. You bring them in for 24 hours. You try to get to know them, and it's just a new world. And then the NIL and negotiating with players, and it's just – it feels – it's just really awkward for me, you know. But you got to adjust. I mean, that's the name of the game right now. I mean, the guys that adjust, they're going to have a chance. The guys that don't adjust are not, and so – I'm just kind of rolling with the flow. Hopefully, they'll get some kind of guidelines and some some kind of try to get it back in the box, but I don't know if that's going to happen anytime soon. Get into that, and I'm sorry to interrupt, Bray. Is, do you see two or three conference power, you know, you guys, SEC, Big Ten come together and yeah. kind of – you, you, you hope – You get hope, a commissioner, kind of run like yeah, NFL. Yeah, I mean – I'm just hoping we get some kind of leadership. Yeah. I really don't care who it is. Yeah. I mean, I just think we need direction. Yeah. Um, Cause it's outside the box. I mean, there's no more rules. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's a free for all. You know, and so it's we 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 need some some leadership. For what we need. That's your mouth. <clears throat> um, pleasure to meet you finally. Yeah. When my my dad coached at Arkansas ninety five to ninety eight. Yeah. Danny and we went to uh, first Baptist Springdale. First yeah. First Baptist Springdale, and I was following your career at that time. I remember 
one playoff game against Junction City. I believe the score was 102 to 100. Is that is that right? Really? It was, it was something like that. It was that. close. And uh, I, the question I have, Coach, is what was your big uh, – from the American Conference to the uh, yeah. Big 12, what did you have to uh, – what did, yeah. obstacles did you come – did you yeah. find? Yeah, so, you know, we went to Big 12 this past year, and, you know – of course, I'm thinking, you know, we got to have more depth up front. And so yeah. we recruited for that. But there's nothing like going going through it. You know, and a lot of outsiders think the Big 12 is a 7-on-7 seven seven yeah. league. Yeah. It was just the opposite. I mean, Kansas, Kansas State, they line up and they try to pound like you used to do. Yeah. I mean, that, yeah. that really, and it was, it's a hit, hit you in the mouth league. And probably the biggest thing was the depth. I mean, it, it just after the season, I reevaluated. I mean, we got to get more quality depth because, you know, that, that league will wear you down. Yeah. And, Everybody's pretty good. Like, there's not like uh, other conferences you had. You look at your conference, you say, okay, we're going to win that one. There was not one of those. And then we had to go on the road six six games. And, like, it was it was a challenge. But it's a good league. Well, it's a great league. And, you know, y'all sitting there playing with Oklahoma right there to the very wire. Yeah, I mean, dude. and then I, I was flipping yeah. that. I couldn't get off of it. It was beat uh, but back and forth. Well, talk to us about your time you've been – in Florida here now, yeah. since Florida and Orlando, seems like that's just a hot place to be right now. You know, as far as recruiting and yeah. and the way that thing's grown in a short period of time. Yeah, there's no doubt. Yeah, you know, I really think it's a gold mine. Um, you know, when after Auburn, I was going to set out and I was going to do TV, that Fox pregame show yeah. and all that. We were going to travel. Christy was all excited, <laughs> and this job came open. And I told her, I said, hey, that place is a gold mine. I said, you know, if the right guy ever got there would stay there and build it and not look at it as a stepping stone, it could be the best job in college football. Now that I've been there three years, I believe it more. I mean, there's no NFL team. We're right in the, the middle of Florida. Yeah. Great place to recruit. Uh, and they've been successful before I got yeah. there. I mean, oh, they've yeah. won a lot of games. So, you know, each year we've had the top recruiting class in the school history. And we're about that close to kicking the door down. Wow. So I'm real excited. Obviously, we got – you know, KJ Jefferson, yeah, I'm real about excited him. about yeah. getting him. I think that's a game changer and that's a perfect fit for what we like to do offensively. Well, he is, I mean, he is ext extremely physical. I've never seen a man get hit in the chest and, and playing quarterback and not move. I, I had neither. I mean, it's unbelievable. I, co I coached Cam Newton. I never <laughs> seen him. <laughs> I had to rewind that about three or four times. Did I just see that right? But no, nah, you know, I recruited him, you know, coming out of high yeah. school too, but it yeah. was the same time I had Bo Nix. Yeah. So, you know, obviously we went with Bo Nix. We had a relationship already. And then when he decided to go on the portal, man, he was the first guy, you know, like yeah. he's the guy that we wanted. So we're fortunate to have him. Well, good. We're, well, we'll be following him. Let's talk about some of your guys that's worked for you and gone on, done great yeah. things. I mean, you know, GAs like, you know, Taylor Reed, you know, he's, yeah. he's rolling. Taylor's because, you know, Cody, great. Cody Burns with the Saints yeah. and, yeah. and, uh, those, you know, Rhett's gone on to the yeah. SMU doing great things. Talk about some of the guys that have worked for you and they've yeah. gone on and done some great things. Yeah. Well, Eli Drink. Eli Drink. About, about Eli. You, yeah. Hey, Eli. So, so uh, I was um, the offensive coordinator for for Coach Frankie Vines in yeah. the All Star yeah. game. And that was a big deal. Now, when you're a high school coach, man, you get to coach an All Star game. That was one of my life. I think, I think there's a guy named Zach Clark was one of your quarterbacks. <laughs> was, Zach Clark was my quarterback. <laughs> yeah. And so the head coach could bring a, uh, a manager. Well, the manager he brought was Eli Drinkowitz. And so Eli, you know, he's about half nerd anyway. Yeah. He's running around. <laughs> but but he had that, like, infectious, like, I said, I like that guy. Yeah. So at Springdale, when he graduated, he came up and volunteered for me at Springdale. He was just a volunteer and all that. And so then fast forward, I go to Auburn, and he moves up to be the OC and line coach at Springdale. So I made an in-home visit, flew in there, said, and I think I paid him twelve thousand dollars <laughs> to be the GA at Auburn. Now look at him now. I mean, yeah. he won the Cotton Bowl and yeah. all that. Uh, Rhett, you know, he's been with me the whole time, and Rhett is turned into one of the best coaches in all college. He world. is. He probably is, if not, yeah, he probably he's probably the best coach that I've ever coached with. Really, he has the unique ability when the pressure is the highest to think clear, to not panic, and. He, so the sky's the limit for him. I mean, I'm just so proud of him and uh, Cody Burns, you know, and, and I'll tell you this, all those guys, 
they 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 were hard workers and they sacrificed. They were getter doners. Mm -hmm. You don't want to get yeah, done. Like, yeah. There's very few getter doners. I tell yeah. our staff on them, you need to be a getter doner. What's a getter doner? That you take care of your crap without somebody telling you. Yeah. And and so they did that. Taylor did a super job. I talked to him the other day. And when you get old, Jeff, you know, like, you look <laughs> know, back at all them, all them guys, man, they're growing up. Now they're all big shots. But but I'm real proud of those guys. They're all really good people. Yeah. They're in it for the right reasons. They care about kids and they're great examples for kids. And so real proud of that group. Well, I tell you what, it's been a it's been fun to watch your career, you know, as a high school coach and knowing you and and one thing about Coach Malzahn, if you text Coach Malzahn, you're going to get something right back to you. And, and that doesn't happen everywhere. And just it's been fun. I know my mom watches every – you know, Gus is on TV. She was, I got to give her every Saturday morning, you know, what time you're playing, what channel. And she keeps up with everybody, and we all do. And, and we're just extremely excited. I, I know everybody's – it's been a buzz about you coming yeah. coming here and getting you back and – in that part, you know, when you're at Auburn, it's a little tough sometimes to get you back over here. Yeah. But, but the, yeah, I, I'm glad, I'm glad <laughs> I don't have to play the hogs anymore. Man, you talk about that was tough, man. Well, talk to us a little bit about that because you've uh, been, in, uh, I've been to a lot yeah. of those games where you're there. I mean, is that yeah. a weird experience? Yeah. I mean, yeah, it, it, especially early on, you kind of get used to it, but yeah. I didn't like it. You know, I mean, my dream was to play for the hogs. Yeah. And I walked on, and man, that was. A big deal and, and so you know you go to auburn it's a rival and you know i'm like a, a closet hog fan yeah. i root for him every other time <laughs> like that we don't play and then we got to play him and then you know man my friends like i mean Fred, you find out who your friends are i tell you that like and i had friends like we'd beat them and they wouldn't talk to me for a month and man it was really but i am so glad that now i can just root for the hogs yeah. and don't have to play them well, it's like I said, it's been fun watching your career. And hey, we're going to get you off here because I know there's a lot of people wanting to see you and you can visit with. And yeah. we're excited about you coming in and you're going to have a packed house at 10 o'clock. Hey, thanks so much for having me. It's an honor to be back and great to be back home. Well, thank you for getting coming on. Thanks, coach. All righty. Well, man, we, we are flying like crazy on yep. YouTube right now. We're, we're blowing it up. Had some great. Last couple of shows have been great, great views. Mm -hmm. Tell everybody how they can find us. Yeah, you know, we've hit a couple of huge benchmarks uh, on YouTube. Uh, Coaches in the mouth, uh, give us a subscribe, give us a like. Um, that's huge towards uh, where we're headed. Um, and, of course, we're on Twitter or X uh, under Coaches Pod. So uh, give us a follow there. You can watch all of our episodes there as well. Well, it's great. Well, for Coach Jeff Williams, Coach Bray Cook, mouth, we'll see you next time.